stay away. Hello. <laughs> I have uh, very diligently packed this rucksack for my trip to Amsterdam that I leave for tomorrow. Excited, I'm going with my friend Hannah. Never traveled with a friend before, so shh, I'm very excited. I have this bag packed. This is the same rucksack I took to Venice. Um, I made a few mistakes when I took this to Venice, so I have corrected those um, now. And I'm very excited to go to Amsterdam with just a rucksack. We're going for five days, so I would normally take a, like a, a roll-on suitcase. But you know what? We're just gonna go with a rucksack because we're minimal. So I thought I would unpack it now, show you what I've packed, and then mean I have to repack it, but that's fine. I wanna share with you what I'm taking. Um, so first off, it's very light this time because I'm only taking one pair of spare shoes and those are my running shoes. I'm just wearing trainers the rest of the time. Last time I took, um, a pair of like uh, extra boots. Big mistake, such a big mistake. I, if you're packing with just a rucksack, one pair of shoes or two, two max, but I have the unfortunate thing of wanting to run. So I'm gonna run. Anyway, obviously I have my passport and all my important documents up here. And then in this front up here, I have all my liquid toiletries. I took the hairbrush thing off of the handle, so I have that. And then I have my dry makeup. And in this middle section, we'll get onto the clothes and the fun stuff in a second. I have a spare book, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I'm reading Young Mungo at the moment, but that's obviously gonna be with me in my little handbag. I have my journal, because I'm in my healing girl era. And then run shoes. And a, and a tote bag for when I walk around the city. Like a little cute fabric tote bag. Oh, onto the clothes. They all live in this big back bit here. And I'm gonna try on the outfits that I'm gonna take with me for you guys because I think that's fun. I'm taking a bikini in case we go to like a spa or a swimming pool or a hot tub or the beach. I have a running outfit because I would like to go on two runs while I'm there. So my flight outfit is this Wolf and Gypsy vintage waffle top, which has honestly just become the only thing I wear. And then these Speltum white linen trousers. I really like these, they were kind enough to send them to me. And again, they've just become what I wear. And then I'm just gonna wear this jumper on the plane. It's just my blue, um, knit jumper that I got second hand at Beyond Retro and again I love it she's a staple um, I'm probably gonna get very warm in this outfit but that's just how it is you have to travel with your bulkiest stuff and then this will be my jumper for like the whole trip and I was gonna take a denim jacket like a lightweight denim but I was out today in the lanes and I went into Snoopers Bazaar in Brighton and I found this um, jacket from Scott's Vintage, who I have a lot of jackets from them. And I think it's just the perfect like lightweight jacket to take with me. So this will be my airport outfit. This is the handbag I'm gonna take with me because I took this to Venice and it worked really well with this and like a tote bag. And this brown bag just goes with every single every single outfit. The one pair of shoes that I'm taking that I'm gonna wear to the airport are these silver um, A6 trainers that I got secondhand in Copenhagen. So yeah, this is the outfit I'm gonna wear on the plane. Um, and also for the first day, evening. So Damson and Mada were kind enough to send me some dresses. This is the first one. Sadly, they are a size too big, but that's fine. But this is just a really cute gingham um, puffy sleeve dress. It's not 100% my normal vibe, but I like it. I think this, for exploring Amsterdam, going into cafes, cute little insta-pick by the canal, it's gonna be cute. It's super lightweight and flowy. It would be nice if it was like my actual size, which is an eight, but I'm glad that they sent me a size up, not a size down, because I can imagine a size six of this would have like been hard to breathe in for me. Um, but I can always 
cheeky hair tie, you know, cheeky hair tie. And then I might, the thing I love about this bag, it's from Osui, um, is you can make the strap longer. So I might wear this as like a little crossbody when I'm wearing this one. Um, so this would be really cute. It like fits the Amsterdam colouring. I don't know if that makes sense, but in my mind, Amsterdam has a colourway. And then the next dress that Dams and Amado were kind enough to send me is this um, slip dress. I don't, you can see there's little beads on it. Very cute. It's got food all over it. I'm obsessed, honestly. Um, it's got a very cute little back. Again, the beaded straps are just adorable. Um, this, I think, would have been better sized down instead of up because it's got these beautiful darts that take your waist in, but it's obviously a size too big for me, so it doesn't quite. But I can, like, again, cheeky little, little hair tie. And also, I don't hate an oversized slip. I think it will look very nice with this jacket. Kind of juxtaposing vibes, but similar color tone, so very exciting yes look at that look at that and I think one thing to remember when you're traveling light is that your jacket doesn't have to go with every outfit that you wear it's great if it does but if you're doing it for the insta pics honestly just take the jacket off be cold for like five seconds and then pop it on and I'm gonna take my blue jumper everywhere with me anyway, and I think this outfit will look very cute with the blue jumper over the top as well. So, she's vibing. Moving on from dresses, we have another vibe switchy thing. I have this rose skirt that with Jean sent me. Very blessed, I still can't get over it. And this top from Anna Wetton. And again, with the little silver sneakers, I think this um, sneakers, trainers. I am from England. Um, this is a very cute little simple outfit. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go with the Dior top. Um, scratch the black top. But um, yeah, I just got this vintage Dior top from um, Vivival Studios on Depop. I hunted for it for months and then it came up and I was like, that's mine. Um, I wear it way too often. It's so easy to style. It's such a gorgeous, like, basic piece. Um, definitely worth every penny of investment. I'd really recommend investing in like really high quality pieces that you know you'll love wearing and will mean a lot to you over sort of multiple just things that you buy and you're like cool. Um, I've got five tops coming every day of the week. I don't need to worry about like investing in a staple piece. This I will wear my entire life and then my daughter and my granddaughter can wear it and enjoy the fact that I made this choice for myself. Um, but yeah, just this outfit, I think it's a little bit more summery than the black top and it's just very cute and bright and pastel and spring colours. And then what I have envisioned for the boxer shorts is this um, waffle top again, the same one I wore on the first day, just this outfit with the jacket, the bag, the silver shoes, it will be very cute. And then I'm taking one pair of jeans with me, so I've got my low, wide, low rise waist bandless flared, the flare, um, <laughs> pocketless trousers that I got for like £25 from a charity shop and they're obviously one of the best things I've ever bought. My fly is down, I'm very sorry. And then I've got this crochet um, top on with it. Um, this is more of like a cold weather outfit because I can throw my blue jumper on, I can change this top out for the Dior top, I can put my jacket on, um, but it's also like quite summery. So this could be like a very nice day vibe. And then I do have one more top to switch out with this for like an evening vibe. So I have this red mesh. Um, it's handmade from a seller on Depop. I would recommend sizing up if you're gonna buy this because this is a size small, extra small can't remember um, and I'm an eight and it like hugs my body like my arms don't quite have full range of motion but it's worth it um, and then this is just a top that I would wear in the evenings to dinner 
to wear it with the jeans or with the white linen trousers and I think it would look amazing so um, or even the boxer shorts so you can see that a lot of the pieces I'm taking are multiple sort of stylings everything's very lightweight which is the benefit of traveling in a warmer months when you're just traveling with a backpack because when I went to Copenhagen and I took very similar clothes oh my god was I cold but again the principle of I took a big coat with me and just took it off for the outfit pictures. I was cold for like five minutes, put the coat back on and went and got like a coffee to warm up. <laughs> so sometimes you just have to take a big ugly coat with you. The outfits I'm taking, I hadn't tried them on before this so I'm very happy. I'm going to take one pair of sunglasses, this necklace from Blue Studio and then like a pair of um, gold earrings. Here we are, bag is fully packed again, it's genuinely so much lighter than when I took it to Venice. I think the main difference is I'm not taking my tripod because I'm going to enlist my friend's help to take pictures and also I'm taking one pair of shoes. Um, but yeah, it feels super lightweight this time, super comfy, um, super wearable, so and we're not going to be doing much walking around the city either with the bags. So. This is my Amsterdam bag, fully packed. Follow me on One Stylish Move on Instagram. Don't know how I just almost forgot my Instagram handle. Um, like, comment, follow, subscribe. Um, and I will post more videos in the future. Bye.